wrap up the last weeks of summer, my dad and I decided to go on a road trip to the east coast of Canada. Going on long drives is something both my dad and I enjoy doing and we always talked about doing a long road trip but we never had the chance to. Since we both got time off work this last week, we decided to bite the bullet and make this dream a reality. Seven days, five provinces, and no prearranged accommodations. It was just us, the road, and my Honda CRV. We left our home with no expectations, having no idea of the amazing journey that the next 4,000 kilometers had to offer. So quiet and peaceful here. This is my week long road trip with my father from Hamilton, Ontario, all the way out to Cabot Trail, Nova Scotia. Uh, good morning. It is the morning of the 29th, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. We're in PEI. So that's Prince Edward Island, and we're all the way up here at the top. So we're out here at the very top. I don't know if it's the very top, but pretty north of PEI. Today we have a pretty easygoing morning, right? Correct. So the place we want to eat, Fisherman's Wharf, doesn't open till 12. It's uh, 9.46, so we have some time to kill. And then from that, we have we booked a ferry for 2.45 to take us from PI to Nova Scotia and then Nova Scotia we can hit up some lighthouses and then tomorrow we'll probably do Capit Trail. After the storm. My dad's insistent that there's a storm coming. I don't check the weather anymore because it's just bad news all the time. So we have, we'll get there at 12 at the restaurant, we have an hour to eat and then it takes an hour and 15 minutes with no traffic from the restaurant to the ferry dock and to be the 30 minutes early. So we're, if we leave at 12.45, we'll get there around 2, 2 to 2.15, which is like really tight. So we have to eat 45 minutes, hope there's no traffic. So right now it's pretty, pretty cool, pretty quiet. But as soon as 12 hits, it's gonna be pretty tight for time, but hopefully we'll make it. And if we don't, we'll just have to figure it out. So just chilling out right now, getting stuff ready, getting the car ready and then we'll uh, be heading out closer to 12 to eat at the Fisherman's Wharf and we'll just drive around PEI see what they have because checkout is in about an hour or so. Oh, that's the plan. Changing plans again. We're not gonna go to Fisherman's Wharf because I think we'll miss the ferry and we already paid for that. So we're going to Lobster on the Wharf instead which is in Charlottetown about 35 minutes away from here and that's only 42 minutes away from the ferry dock. So we're just gonna go there instead. It has pretty good reviews. I probably won't taste the difference between different lobster places. So. Correct. Look at the rain! It'll be fine. Storm is heading here. It's coming. It's starting to rain, so we'll just go there. That way Look at that. we make the ferry on time. And uh, They're heading out. We'll do that. They're going fishing. Yeah, good luck to them. Oh, those are tasty. 
No. <laughs> you don't even tell yet. Just finished eating that lobster lunch. Leaving now. And we're headed to the ferry station for the dock. What'd you think of the food? Very good. I'm full. You're full? I'm That's full good. Of lobster. You know, I think the potatoes were just as good as the lobster. The hype on the potatoes is, is real. It's very good. Lobster was good. Now it's time for us to leave PI and head towards Nova Scotia. We're at the ferry station now. Uh, we're just in the lane that we're supposed to go in. Or an hour early, which is good. I don't know if we would have made it if we ate at the other place. But we're waiting now to see what happens. And then uh, we'll be going. Maybe go to the cafeteria first? Going on the ship. There's a cafeteria here too. You hungry again? Oh no. Mm. Fairies here now. Wanna go Rain. Up? Uh, no, in a bit. Rain is uh, coming down a bit less now, and the sky is starting to get a little bit more blue, which is good. Uh, 2.15 right now. We should be boarding pretty soon on the ferry, and then uh, we'll see what the ferry has, because I've never been on one before. You ready type R for this uh, ferry? Yes, sir. You know they do tune-ups on your car there for you? 
Hey! They do what? They do tune ups. On what car? On your cars there. Probably Especially if you're wearing a Type R shirt, they say yeah. we'll give you fresh oil. Mm. This guy's eating again. Eating again. Give me some meat good. Make it happen. There's quite a bit of cars here. So this will take, they said, 75 minutes. And we'll be in Nova Scotia. And then when we get to Nova Scotia, we're going to head up to uh, Lighthouse. I think we get there Woo! around 4, 4 p.m. We'll drive up like an hour and a half to a certain lighthouse. And then we'll find a place to stay on Cape Breton Island. And we want to do Cabot Trail tomorrow morning. I hope and, it doesn't rain. And if we don't find a, a spot, we'll have to camp in. Camp where? Inside that the CRV. There's no room in here. You already stink anyways. So you need to take a shower. I did take a shower this morning. Yeah, you, you did. That's not me who stinks. No. That's you. I did take the shower. Cars are moving. Looks like it's time to board. again so I think we're going to somewhere along here is where we'll want to end up could be wrong but it doesn't look too cloudy over there so hopefully the rain isn't reaching there it did return to your vehicles they said let's go back to the car Go back, go back! Alright, time to head.
head back to the car. Oh, and now we're back into the car. 40, no, 75 minutes later. That wasn't bad. Went by pretty quick. Yep. They just called for everyone to get back in their car and then we'll open up these gates. Right there. And then we'll be on our way. There's cars heading out now already. Oh boy, you get this going? They're loading. There we go. We're, We're out. Loading. We're out. That's it. Is eat as usual. Are you happy that we're here now? Yes, sir. All right. A cool lighthouse to see at the top it's getting very windy and very cloudy now so we have to get going but we got some good pictures and some good video lighthouse good lighthouse good awesome so now we have to head over to Cape Breton send that to Ed. oh wow show that to the camera that's a nice one that's a nice one. is that a pano no this is just a uh, regular regular Got some cool shots with the car and everybody. So uh, now we're down at the lighthouse. Check that off the list. Time to go to Cape Breton Island. think this will be available if we just drive up there? Sure. Yeah? Okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, we'll see you soon then. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Impromptu decisions again. That's the best. We're going to Cabot Trail Motel 
It's an hour away from where we are right now with this Walmart with a very cool old school logo. None of that super center BS that they like out here. Uh, so we're going to Cabot Trail Motel. It's an hour away. That's 30 minutes away from the Cabot Trail itself. So let's uh, head there, check in for the night, and uh, take nice. a dump there or something. Take a dump. Yeah, I gotta take a dump. Or take a dump here in Big McDonald's. No, at the motel. I'm sure later I'll have to take a dump. I want you to do it now. I don't want you to be. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go. <sighs> okay, so found a place here at Cabot Trail Motel, pretty good. Uh, we'll stay here for the night, and we found out that the trail takes six to eight hours to do, which is a lot longer. Welcome home. Uh, this place is very old school, which is kind of nice. Matches this guy here. It's rustic. Look at these lights. Now oh, you got lights. See? Nice. So yeah. You got the flower. Takes uh, six to eight hours to do. Uh, rain tomorrow, but uh, hopefully it ends early, so we have a pretty good scenery. But we'll stay here for the night. We'll just relax uh, and then cap the trail tomorrow. Hopefully weather is good and that'll be, sounds like a whole day thing, right? That's what it looks like. That's awesome. It's like some Fast and Furious. <laughs> okay, let us unpack and settle in. Forgot to give you guys a quick tour of the room, so let's go outside and check it out. Got our own patio at the front. right into the room and the car is right there it's a standard motel stuff except it's really old but very clean they see freezing cold and a good old washroom towels and that's pretty much it lighting is good in here I'm gonna go have my dad unpack Secretly making bacon and instant noodle soup for dinner. Yeah. Gourmet. Again. Okay, time to eat and catch some sleep. See you guys tomorrow.